Howdy 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 my darling Libra, how are you doing? Let's get into a weekly tarot reading for September, see what's going to be happening in your life Libra. Check out your sun moon rising as well as your Venus sign to get the full understanding of what's happening in your life. Alright, and give this video a like and subscribe if you do enjoy this reading because it helps me out a lot. So let's start out your tarot reading here today Libra. And be sure to check out the top right hand corner of your screen for the monthly tarot pick a card reading that I have posted. You have the eight of swords uh, coming in here, starting out your energy Libra. Alright, so this is a message of where you are starting to get out of your head all right i feel like you're starting to remove the restrictions that you like the mental blocks that you that have been holding you back libra i feel as if right now for you there hasn't been too much movement and that's because that you needed some time to heal all right you needed some time to like digest some things mentally all right maybe something you received some news perhaps libra or something happened for you to just be digesting things but you have the star energy coming in afterwards darling all right libra so i'm really optimistic about the coming days for you all right give yourself some grace libra right now and how you are handling things with the star energy it represents the sense of where i do feel like it's really important for you to focus on your uh, emotional healing at this time but just understand libra that you're going to get to your destination all right you're going to get to your destination without question when you have that star energy right it's associated with aquarius all right you and my earring back here is the star actually but it's representing that sense of where I wish being granted for you, right? And so in this dynamic here, I feel like you've been dealing with some personal restrictions, Libra, uh, that have made it so you haven't been able to progress as quickly towards your big goals in life, all right? Because then afterwards we have, let's see here, <sighs> the moon energy coming in here afterwards interesting i do feel like you guys are about to be going on a new journey here you might be you might be starting like a new journey of a project actual like some type of new uh workplace or something like that libra but i do feel like your passion is going to be guiding you ace of wands in the back of the deck here all right you guys I, I need you to be prepared to libra as you continue removing the restrictions like you know the swords deals with like your mental health right and the eight of sorts in specific libra deals with just like how like you know what's going on internally right anxiety depression what have you and so as you keep on removing these eight sores that have been keeping you limited libra all right i see that passion is really going to be guiding you with this ace of wands here let me get this in frame darling with this ace of wands here passion is going to be guiding you <clears throat> into something unknown picking up on a project all right again it's like i feel like it's a, like a new environment for you all right it's either you're traveling libra or like there's something in your just in your current setting that is moving but i do feel like it is definitely leading you all right each sword that you remove you're going to notice like the momentum picking up let's start clarifying libra this eight of swords energy i want to understand this a little bit better <clears throat> four of cups coming in here six of swords and then the three of cups one more cherry energy a lot of water energy libra by the way so if you have water in your chart be sure to check them out as well all right so four cups the six of swords three of cups with the chariot mm. So that's what's been going on, Libra. I feel like it's been really humbling for you uh, when it comes to your relationships. I feel like the main focus that it's that you've had for a while, Libra, has just been about who you're going to be bringing with you along in your story in the coming days, right, Libra? I feel like for you, when it comes to what was having you trapped was the sense of where it's like you wanted certain uh, family members whatever relationships in your life to join you into like building a dream together i feel libra it's that sense of where you are really giving this whoever whatever this energy is it's just like you're giving so much love to it and then you were just eventually met with disappointment with it it's like you started realizing that you had to walk away from this walk away from a situation realizing that you, whether it was like rose colored glasses i see with this here or it's called the glasses with the situation or just maybe misinterpreted or maybe just the person itself like you're just like oh like you are just a blockage for me you're keeping me down some of you you might be he needing to heal from like previous relationship traumas with family perhaps libra <clears throat> let's get into the star energy start clarifying this and see what's going to be actually coming up Ooh, libra hello darling what 
oh my god libra this is <laughs> this is insane here so we're clarifying the star energy right so i talked previously about how the star energy is associated with libra your wishes being granted the desires that you've had for a long time like the big goals the big accomplishments right when you ask a kid what they want to be when they grow up they exude the star energy and she's like i want to be an astronaut so libra why am i freaking out so like why did i get the reaction that i did here you have the two of wands the justice energy which is your energy energy libra right and then you have the six of wands here the six of wands is my favorite card all right the six of wands represents public recognition success victory like ball all by definition you have that two of wands here what does that success and recognition look like right the two of wands talks about contracts it talks about whatever victories happen it's like it's setting you up where you start feeling like you need to plan for your future what's going to be happening a lot of things are going to be changing uh in the coming days for you libra and especially when you have this clarifying all the star energy like this is a direct like message libra of those like as you continue unpacking these swords as you continue having like the the moment that you needed to have of those personal restrictions libra with this eight of swords here the star energy in that six of wands is literally like if i pulled this out for someone in their career this is straight up like you're going to be extremely successful like without a doubt and with the two of wands they're like contracts like businesses like straight up uh libra i really want you to understand that that this is why you want to give yourself more grace is because of this is because of once you remove those swords you're about to be really having the momentum momentum picking up for you you're going to be feeling your most empowered libra right or that justice energy that's you being in your most empowered that's you uh having the scales be balanced out again after you remove those eight swords so it's like libra for you give yourself the grace if you haven't been progressing as much as you'd like to in some facet of your life darling it's not gonna like it's not it's definitely not impacting or impeding your future in the coming days i can tell you that for sure libra like without question here yeah, this is an insane uh situation insane set of cards here so let's start getting some oracle cards here as well before we pull more tarot let's start breaking this up here i also get for those libras who are socially i feel like you start meeting people in a different environment all right and so yeah panda card coming in creating a sacred space for yourself in your home and or workplace libra all right some of you guys have been really tending to the home life maybe you guys have been setting up certain things so you're able to be productive in a quicker way all right the wolverine card coming in as well libra you're a lot tougher than you think you are and you know this you know this at this point in time i feel like with whatever it is that you had to really humbly accept libra to walk away from it humbled you but it also gave you a better understanding of who you are libra and i know this because that's why we pulled that justice energy for you right you are feeling your most empowered you might have lost sight for a little bit your vision might have gotten a little bit blurry for a moment libra right about who you are right and i see that with that eight of swords but it's like you've gone through you've gone through the thick of it into the thick of it but you've gone through the thick of it uh libra here now i see progression for you you've learned so much about yourself during this dark night of the soul for yourself libra and i really want to celebrate you all right this is something that no one else is going to really know the story of for you libra like when you have your success in whatever way that's coming for you and what that looks like right because it's different for all of you like they're not going to understand this healing journey that you've been on they're not going to understand like what led up to the moment that then other people see you as the overnight success they don't understand the trials and the tribulations that you've gone through to feel this empowered to feel who you are currently libra all right so that's why i really want to just be the one libra to talk about it for you because it's like this was an extremely pivotal transformational transformative time for you libra and this is the perfect timing for you because it's about to be our season right 
but we still got to let Virgos have their moment for just a little bit longer. All right, the last card coming in from the Oracle. The experiences you're presently going through, Libra, are an initi initiation initiation uh, into fulfilling your purpose as a healer. All right, so Libra, what I want to be setting you on this mission for is just you need to go in in the future days with a set with a with more intent. What are you intending on? What impact are you trying to have on people? What intent are you trying to like? What are you trying to accomplish? What you know? Let's go past the superficial Libra and make it uh make it deeper all right let's go deep with this here we talk about the success what are you going to do with it how are you going to serve humanity with that success all right that's where spirit was wanting you to lean further into all right if you have a story to tell from previous relationships write that book share your story all right because it's through you it's through you setting the intention, Libra, on what it is that you're trying to create. While it can serve you, Libra, but it also can serve humanity for the impact or the difference that it makes, right? When someone makes a groundbreaking discovery for medicine, right? They have their personal fulfillment, but it also serves society in some way as well. <laughs> Libra, new moon and Libra, new romantic cycle beginning, uh, starting for you guys. And what was I saying, Libra? I said, I feel like I just kind of like said it, but, um, for like half a mo moment, but I didn't go into it. But I was saying to you, Libra, where I feel like when it comes to like relationships for you guys, I feel like new relationships come in new settings. So especially for my singles out there, Libra, all right, focus in on taking care of those swords, all right? And as the success comes, all right, that's when that new romantic cycle begins. That's when your path is going to connect you with other people. You have the new moon in Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off, Libra, all right? Your hard work is paying off. This is the epitome of what I've been saying essentially this entire time, all right? Your hard work is paying off and that is what's going to begin that new romantic cycle libra this is not really the time to make love like your focus point love is i know it can sound annoying especially because i'm telling my children of venus honey but it's like love is not the focal point that you want to be having right now because by focusing on love it's going to come in slower than if you just focused in on your objectives focused in on what the things that you want to accomplish right now libra because it's through those accomplishments that then get you to the right path to connect with those people all right full moon and leo don't let pride get in the way here all right this is the full moon and i actually want to go a little bit deep with this here libra remember how i was saying that with that previous situation i feel like you were humbled all right full moons right that's the completion essentially then you're beginning a new lunar cycle right and so when you have this full moon in leo don't let pride get in your way whatever the situation was libra i feel like for many of you you had to like what was your intention behind it actually the sun card okay yeah that's why so libra for you you had this moment, all right? Because stay along with me. We're about to get real deep here, Libra. All right? You have this moment where it's like you have like this childlike view, right? I think I even used that as a reference earlier with an analogy. You had like this wholesome view, Libra, of a situation. And you really, you saw it through like the, the lens. I said rose-colored glasses, but it's like through the lens of a child where you had faith. You really trusted an energy there. And so you got humbled, unfortunately, right from that situation the full moon then goes into the completes that cycle and then we begin the new moon libra right new moons representing new beginnings so the new moons coming in here do you see how that correlates darling right please tell me you understand <laughs> and also like double leo energy here can we acknowledge so it's like, that's why we're getting deep here. Le uh, now I'm wanting to call you Leo, Libra. That's why we're getting deep here, darling. Because like for you, Libra, you've been deep, honey. Like this would be deep to anybody else right now. But you like deep is like your middle name at this point, honey. You, you've you been doing so much personal work, Libra. And again, I don't feel like a lot of people are ever going to truly understand like what it has taken for you to even make it through another year to celebrate your birthday. I don't know. Cooling your emotions, full moon in uh, Aries. You have as well, Libra, the new moon in Pisces, attuning to the divine and last quarter moon in Aries, working through your feelings, attuning to the divine and working through your feelings. But I feel like that's what you already been doing, Libra. I feel like you have been by working through your feelings. That's how you've gotten closer to the, to the divine, whatever the divine looks like for you, not my business, but it's through that work with the divine Libra that I then feel like for you has given you a sense of purpose or a sense of a mission where it's like, 
the coming days, I don't know. I just get this sense for you, Libra, like you're going to be making a really big impact in the world. All right. That's where the success comes in. It's like through this healing journey that you've gone through that other people kind of put you into that position of having to go through, I feel. It's really changed. It's changed you. And I feel like it's given more of a purpose to what it is you're going to be doing in the coming days. <clears throat> And what do you know? Back of the deck energy here is the Fool. All right. I love it, Libra. You got both of my favorite cards in this reading here today. All right. You guys are about to be starting on a new Fool's journey here, essentially. All right. So I'm really excited for you. All right. I got all these extra cards here. I was I was feeling it out initially. I usually don't take all these cards, these type of cards, but this time it felt appropriate here. So we have the eight of pentacles, the nine and four of wands, the five of pentacles, the page of pentacles, as well as the temperance energy. All right. So <clears throat> What I want to be telling you, Libra, is like, this is essentially your story here. You have been the wounded warrior. As this Nine of Wands, Libra, you have other people. There have been naysayers. There have been people that have doubted you. There have been people that have betrayed you that you thought were going to be your ride or die. All right? You went through that dark night. You went through that period of where you felt really down about yourself five of pentacles and temperance energy right you didn't give up on your dreams you didn't give up on your goal you didn't give up on your mission but you needed to have that moment to look your wounds to really accept a situation for what it is and what that means by accepting it for what it is all right you felt a little bit down about yourself you lost sight about who you are for a little bit but you didn't truly give up right and so what i see for you libra in the coming days that eight of pentacles is a card of furthering your knowledge, right? It's a card of like upranking, essentially. That page of pentacles and four of wands in a social way that someone extending out communication to you with in hopes of sharing some part of, you know, someone new playing a part, new part in your life, right? So this could come in the sense of a new friendship, new relationship from the Oracle cards we pulled earlier, Libra, or it also could just be coming in in the shape of a new partnership, a new uh, work connection, right? With that two of wands. But ultimately, Libra, this last portion of this year, you are going to be this, right? You are going to be this again. This is who you are. This is you and your most empowered. And it's through you feeling in that justice energy that then provides to you, Libra, that clean slate that you've been desiring, that you've been needing. All right, Libra. So that's the tarot reading that I have for you today. Let me know how this resonates in the comments below and I'll connect with you at a later point in time. Bye, darling Libra.